I'm Photo John for MTBR.com and the 2004 POV camera shootout. Here is the infamous helmet rig that I built. I tightened up the camera placement a little bit this year and we have six new cameras. The GoPro Hero 4 Silver, the Shimano Sport Camera, the Sony Action Cam Mini, the Ion Air Pro 3, the Drift Ghost S, and the Garmin Verb. The video portion of this shootout has four parts for different kinds of evaluation. The first is the bike shop portion. It gives us a chance to check out the video and audio quality in a non-trail environment with people and uh, indoor objects and also indoor lighting. Next up we have the trail test which is probably what most people want to see. That's full resolution 1080p at the fastest frame rate on trail following another rider. The third part of the test is the tunnel test and that shows how quick the exposure on these cameras adjusts. The fourth and final part of the shootout is the high speed test. We did that at Wasatch Indoor Bike Park here in Salt Lake City. All the cameras were set to 720p at the highest frame rate each camera offers the fastest being uh, 120 frames per second. And then we slowed all the video down so you can see what the fastest frame rate looks like. That's also indoors in low light so you can take a look at the low light quality of each one of these cameras. That's enough of my jabbering, let's get on with the videos. We're at Over the Edge Bike Shop in Hurricane, Utah. Getting all set up for uh, the 2014 MTBR point of view camera shootout. Hey, what's up, Jordan? Hey, John. Let's go in the shop here. There's Clayton. John. The shop manager. What's up, Clayton? We're going to go ride today? We are. We're going to go ride and we're going to test this rig right here. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Let's awesome. go ride. Let's go get it. This rig on, and yes, for any of you that are wondering, this thing is heavy, it's uncomfortable, it's Whoa. totally dangerous. I don't recommend this, it's not fun to ride with. But for you guys and for this test, I'm willing to do it. These videos were all recorded at 1920 by 1080 Full HD at maximum quality. That's 60 frames per second for all but the Garmin and Shimano which record Full HD at 30 frames per second. The Sony and Garmin have image stabilization turned on. That makes them less shaky and also gives them a tighter angle of view. It's hard to tell in the side-by-side -side videos, but the GoPro and Sony cameras record more than twice the data as the others. That means sharper video with better highlight and shadow detail. So even though the GoPro doesn't look so saturated and snappy here, it has much more potential. With a bit of editing, it will look much, much better. Check out the full MTBR.com POV shootout article to learn exactly why the Sony and GoPro cameras are in a class of their own. Nice, Clayton. Thank you. <laughs> the tunnel test is about exposure responsiveness and each camera's ability to capture detail on the extreme ends of the range. The best place to see this is when we come out of the tunnel the second time. Notice how the mountains appear sooner with the drift, GoPro, and Sony cameras. That quick adjustment is huge if you're riding in varied lighting conditions like in and out of trees on a bright sunny day. Honestly, the main purpose of this high-speed test is to watch Roddy the Clown get rad in the bike park. But it's also a good way to show off the camera's slow-mo capabilities. 
All cameras were set to 720p at 120 frames per second, except for the Garmin, which maxes out at 60 frames per second. The footage was then slowed down in post so we could check out the slow motion quality of each camera. That's it for the 2014 POV shootout videos. I put a lot more effort into it this year to make it both more informative and a little bit more entertaining. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you were able to see the differences between the cameras. For my complete POV camera analysis and evaluation and to find out what cameras I thought were best in which situations, read the full 2014 POV shootout article on mtbr.com. And for those of you who want to dive in a little deeper and make your own analysis, the full original high-res videos are available for download in the article. This is Photo John for MTBR.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you when we do the next POV shootout.